I want to show you something really cool. Can you see it yet? This is called the rosy vein cap or the wrinkled peach and it is a bucketless mushroom for a lot of mycophiles because it is so unique. I have been lucky enough to see this exact same mushroom on this exact same log for three years in a row now and I want to show it to you and tell you all about it. Now there's a really good chance that you would have seen this mushroom scrolling through social media at some point because it is super photogenic and just really weird looking. A lot of times those photos are photoshopped to make them look even cooler or make them look different colors, but really you don't need to photoshop it because it just naturally is a super cool looking mushroom. The scientific name is Rhodotus palmatus and Latin isn't always super confusing. That name palmatus actually means the palm of your hand and it kind of makes sense when you think about it because when you look at the cap of this mushroom, it almost kind of looks like the palm of your hand if it was wrinkled as if you were in the bathtub for an hour or something like that. It's also called the rosy vein cap because well it has kind of a rosy color and it looks kind of veiny but most people call it the wrinkled peach again which makes sense because it does kind of look like a wrinkled peach. It has a weird kind of netted pattern on the cap which in mycology speak is called reticulate but it does kind of look like just a wrinkled peach and also has that pink or kind of peachy color to it. It is a gilled mushroom with white spores typically and it can often be found growing in clusters but it'll also grow singly kind of like on this log here where there's a bunch of little fruiting bodies growing all over the log. One of the neat things about Rhodotus palmatus is that it is a monotypic species. What this means is that it is the only species in that genus. In other words the only Rhodotus is in fact Rhodotus palmatus. There's really nothing else quite like it and taxonomists had a hard time figuring out where it belongs so they basically just had to create a whole new genus in order to fit it in. Again, this is one of those unique bucket list mushrooms for a lot of mushroom hunters and mycophiles because it is relatively rare. Now in some places it might be a little bit more common and if you know where one is growing it might be easier to find it, kind of like this one here. And it is widely distributed but still it is relatively rare to actually find it in the wild. Again, I have found this one growing on this log in the exact same place and actually growing out of this exact same knot for three years in a row, which means obviously it can grow and fruit multiple times. And I guess it makes sense that the same mushroom might fruit on the same log so many times. Once you put in all that effort to colonize the log, you probably want to stick around for a little while. But actually I just noticed on this same log, all of a sudden, you can see right here another mushroom. This is actually Heresium corloides, which is a close cousin of the lion's mane mushroom. And you can just imagine now that there's an epic battle happening somewhere in here for territory over the nutrients in this log. Now almost universally the first thing people want to know when they see a new mushroom is, is it edible? And in the case of Rhodotus palmatus, it's not poisonous but it's definitely not considered edible. It's extremely rubbery, apparently it just isn't really that good. And you pair that with the fact that it's super rare and it's not very big and it just wouldn't make sense to actually eat this or to use it as a gourmet mushroom. So again, not necessarily poisonous, but considered to be inedible. Luckily, mushrooms like this don't actually have to be edible in order to be enjoyed. It's pretty satisfying just to find it and check it off that list. Now, apparently a lot of people report that this mushroom has an absolutely putrid smell, but to me, it really doesn't smell like anything. It just kind of smells like a mushroom. It just kind of smells like a mushroom. I mean, I guess it's kind of unique, but it's definitely not putrid, which makes me think maybe it's one of those weird things that is like really gross and putrid to some people and really totally innocuous to other people. If you've ever found this mushroom before, let me know what you think. Do you think that it stinks? Now, if you're watching this and you're wondering where can I go to find this mushroom and check it off my bucket list? Well, again, it is relatively rare, so you're pretty unlikely to just stumble across it randomly. But apparently it is common in certain areas. Like for some reason, apparently it's common in Illinois. So if you live there, you might want to go and check that out. I am uh, near Edmonton, Alberta. I found it here, but I've never seen it anywhere else other than this one very specific log. So if you are looking for it though, look for well-decayed logs 
Rhodotus palmatus is a saprophytic mushroom, which means it grows on dead matter. So look for like super well decayed logs. It does like super rainy seasons and super rainy weather. A lot of mushrooms like that, but it seems to like the rain a lot more than others. So go after a huge bout of rain to make sure that it's a lot of moisture kicking around. And it also kind of likes shady areas. So this log, I had to dig around a little bit to find it, but it was covered in a lot of trees and covered in a lot of bush, or just go look around Illinois. One thing I always thought that would be super cool is if you could actually grow this mushroom. I've never heard of anybody doing it or seen anybody doing it, but since it's a saprophytic mushroom, it kind of makes sense that you might be able to grow it the same way you grow a lot of other gourmet or functional mushrooms. So I am gonna try and clone this one to see if I can grow it, and if I am successful, I will do a video on that. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to do this quick video to show you one of my favorite mushrooms ever to find in the wild, Rhododos palmatus. Hope that was informative. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Do you want to become a functional mushroom expert? I've got just the thing for you. It's a new ebook called Mushroom Powered, the history, the science, and the benefits of the world's most fantastic fungi. At over 130 pages, it's absolutely packed with all the information you need to know to learn about the world's most powerful medicinal mushrooms. And the best part, it's 100% free. You can download it right now. Just click the link in the description, enter your email address, and I will send it to you right away. I hope you love it.